Now it's enabled me to have four screens with this. How impressive is that? Shown on the TV and now if I go to a web browser, you can see YouTube on there and I can play a video directly. Hi guys, today we're unboxing and setting up a driverless USB docking station. So this particular one is by Excel. Details are in the description below for anyone thinking of purchasing, including links to purchase the device. So let's take a brief look around the packaging. So 4K Ultra HD, USB 3.1 Gen 2 and dual HDMI is compatible with Windows, Mac OS and Android. Coming around the back, couple of things to highlight. So no driver required for this, USB 3.1 Gen 2 on there, so speeds of up to 10 gigabits per second. Dual display, 4K Ultra HD support, USB-C to USB-C and USB-A to USB-C cables included. Two times HDMI, gigabit ethernet on here, 3.5 mil headphone jack, 3.5 mil microphone jack, three times USB 3.1 Gen 2 connections on there, and a USB-C power source connection together with AC powering. So let's open it up and see what you get in the packaging. Okay, so I've laid out everything you get in the packaging, so let me quickly go through the items one by one. You get a user manual and opening this up, just to highlight, it's all in English and nothing on the other side. You get a power adapter, cable length on this is 135 centimeters, DC connection on there, cable quality seems reasonable, and it's got adapters for other countries, so you've got the US, EU, and the UK on there, and coming in close, output is five volts, three amps. Just to show how to put the adapter on, so you can see some notches in there either side, notches on there as well, and it's just a matter of placing it into position and it clicks in, and there you go, simple as that. And if you wanted to take it out again, you just hold down the button here and pull it. Next we've got two cables, one is Type-C to Type-C and the other one is Type-C to USB. Cable length on both of these is 90 centimeters and really good build quality on these cables. Next we have the docking station and in terms of dimensions it's 28 centimeters by 7 centimeters coming around the side, one end thicker than the other and that's 0.9 centimeters here and 2.2 centimeters there. Design wise all matte finish and you can see some plastic on there so let me take that off. And now coming on here, you can see it's all matte and then glossy around the edges there. And coming underneath, you've got six rubber pads to stop it slipping on the surface. Coming around this side, there's nothing here. Coming around the back, you've got all the connection points. So you've got the USB connection points there, two HDMI, gigabit ethernet, microphone, headphones, and DC power. Coming around this side, you can see the input connection. So that's where you'd plug in to your computer. General build quality feels good, nice strong plastic to it. And if I try twisting it, you can see it stays in position quite well. Now I've connected up my ethernet connector and two HDMI connections, and you've got the type C coming over here. Docking stations powered up and let's give it a second. And there you go, the displays have already appeared. If I maneuver the camera just to show. Now coming in close on here, you can see there's a drive letter that's appeared. Now this is storage directly on the docking station. So if I go to properties of that, you can see there's eight giga storage directly on the docking station. And that storage contains some files. So you can use an app which is on here to assist you in connecting the device. And if I look there, you can see Windows Instant View, and that's for Windows. And the Mac OS one is just at the top there. Now if I double click the Windows one, you can see it there and it says it's connected and I can disconnect from the monitors and reconnect. Now all that does, that just does a mirror display. Now looking down below, extended display, optional driver installation. So for dual screen, you're gonna have to install the driver. I know it does say driverless installation. So driverless in the way that you can just plug it in and it's up and running straight away. But if you wanted extended display, you have to install the driver. That's on the storage, so you don't have to go on the internet or anything for this. So if I now click on there, say yes to the installation, and there you go, it's already installed. Now, if I reposition the camera, so now you can see the three displays. I can see my laptop display and it's extended two additional displays. And now if I go to properties here, display settings, 
you can see the three displays in a row. And if I do an identify, there you go, one, two, and three. And the orientation is off. It's expecting it to be in a line, as you can see. Now, it's always good to put it in a way where it mimics what's shown in Windows. So if I put that down there, now I do identify. So that mirrors up. So if I do an apply, so what that means, if I scroll across, the cursor goes across, and if I come down, it goes down. So exactly how the orientation is here. So it's quite good you can do that. So you can position the monitors how you want in different orders, and it will work as you're seeing on the screen there. Now coming over and looking more closely, if I go down and we go to advanced display settings, you can see the three displays in here, and looking at display two, which is monitor, 1080p on this one and 60 hertz refresh rate. It's the same for the secondary monitors, 1080p and 60 hertz on there. Now coming in close on the dock, I can plug in additional devices. So I've got a hard disk over here, let me plug that in. And I've got dongles for my keyboard and mouse. With our devices plugged in now, you can see we've got a keyboard, mouse and dual screen support on there. Coming in close here, you can see an E-Drive and that E-Drive is the hard disk I plugged into the docking station. So that contains a file on there and that file is nearly 8 gig in size. So let's see what the performance is like transferring from the hard disk onto our computer. So if I drag it across, hit copy, You can see their performance is about 60 megabits per second. So let's give it a moment to transfer across and see how stable it is. There you go, the performance was pretty stable and copied across fine. Now let's try the other way, copying from the computer back onto the hard disk. So if I delete that file on the hard disk and let's copy it across. Speeds are similar, so that's pretty good. So let's give it a moment. There you go, it's copied across, and again, performance was very consistent and stable, which is good. Next, just to show the ethernet connection on here, you can see there I'm connected via wired connection. Coming to the status, you can see gigabit connection on there. So let's see what the performance is like with this. So I've connected to a network share I've got, and I've got the eight gig file on here. Now if I copy from the server, which has a gigabit connection on there to my laptop, and we're getting about 110 megabits per second. Let's again, let it continue and see what the stability is like. There you go, performance was consistent and no drops in connection, so that's good. So let's copy from the laptop onto the server now. So I'll delete the one on the server, grab that and copy across. Speeds again are similar, so that's good. Let's give it a moment. There you go, the files copied across, no issues there, performance is good. Next, let's test out 4K picture quality, and you can see there there's two slots, 1080p is here, and 4K is just over there. So this cable here is plugged into my 4K OLED TV. Looking in display settings, you can see the two displays now. So the number one is the laptop, and number two is my TV, and if I select the TV, scroll down, resolution is 4K, and it's an extended display, and if I check in advanced display settings, it's coming at 4K picture resolution and 30 hertz. There you go now, coming over to my TV, you can see the display from the computer being shown on the TV. And now if I go to a web browser, you can see YouTube on there and I can play a video directly from there. Now, just to note in terms of connectivity, you can have two screens running at 1080p or one running at 1080p and the other running in 4K, which is really cool. Now, in terms of audio, so microphone and speaker, you've got the two jacks there. So microphone's there and headset is there. Now, if I wanted to connect a speaker, so I've got my Bluetooth speaker just over here, it's just as simple as literally taking the connection and plugging it directly in to the headphone jack. And now if I come over here to audio, you can see it there, speaker to SMI USB audio. You hear the sound coming out of the speaker. Now, if you had a headset, for instance, to connect to this, slightly different. So because you've got two connectivity ports, normally headphones come with adapters like this. And if I show one's for the microphone and the other one's for the earpiece, so that would be just a matter of plugging that in and then plug in the headphone point and then you'd have a single connection on there and then I can plug this in and then this into my headphone jack. 
So there you go, that's up and running now with speaker and microphone. So nice it has this connectivity option on there. Now in terms of connecting up the laptop to a computer which just has USB and no Thunderbolt connectivity on there, it works well. So I use the other cable on this laptop there and I'm getting dual screen at 60 hertz on each screen and 1080p picture quality. I've tested out 4K as well, that works well and that's at 30 hertz. So it's good it comes with two cables, one with Type-C to Type-C and the other one is Type-C to USB. Next, let's test out using the docking station with a mobile phone. So this is my S10 Plus here. It's got a Type-C connection underneath. So if I plug the cable in, give it a moment. There you go, File Explorer is now asking for permissions. There you go, now you can see the story that's on the docking station available. Now if I drop this down, and if we see here, Ethernet cable connected. So now we're on an Ethernet cable on a mobile phone, which is pretty cool. So you've got a faster speed there. Now coming back from there, now if you go to the Play Store and I search for Excel Driverless, that's the app we're after. I've got it installed, so if I click Open, and this allows you to cast onto the display. So if I click OK to that, start now to this, and there you go, it's casting away. Now if I reposition the camera, there you go, so you can see both displays. Now just to note, you're not getting any sort of extended desktop here, you're just getting a mirrored display. So if I turn it sideways, my phone, you can now see it more in a full screen mode. And together with that, you've got the mouse working. So if I click in there, type away as well. So the keyboard works, which is great. Now if I come out of that, now let's start up YouTube. And if I select one of my videos, with the shifter cable, it's just over here, plug the connector in. So with the speaker plugged in, you've got sound coming out as well. It's an excellent bit of functionality here. Connector for the pedals, so that goes in. But just a note, it doesn't charge your mobile, so keep that in mind. With all this running, obviously it's not getting charged and you'll obviously have the battery reducing in power. So just to show that, you don't have any sort of charging status on there, which is a bit of a shame. So if you are using it like this, it would be good if it was charging it up. But other than that, good functionality from this. Just to show what's possible from the docking station, so I've got the docking station set up on another desk, dual screens coming off the docking station, my laptop has two Type-C connection points, so one's going into the docking station and another one's going to a portable monitor, this is from LiPal, which I've also reviewed previously, and now it's enabled me to have four screens with this. How impressive is that? Okay, so you've seen the unboxing and setup of this docking station from Excel. Excellent docking station here, very simple to set up and configure. In terms of connectivity, you've got three USB points on there. You've got dual screen, 1080p running at 60 hertz, or a single 4K display on there. Also has gigabit ethernet on there and audio and microphone connection points. Only negative point I can say really about this is the fact that it doesn't charge the laptop it's connected to. But other than that, a great docking station. So I hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Stick around for the end cards. I've got a playlist showing other docking stations I've reviewed. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like this video. Drop me a comment, let me know what you think. If you don't like the video, drop me a comment, let me know what you think is wrong with the docking station. So there you go. Thanks for viewing and see you in the next one.